Welcome to learning how to make a set of handlebars uh, in SketchUp. And uh, if you'll notice, this isn't an easy shape uh, right offhand when you're looking at it because it's got uh, all these curves and it's also got some angles to it where this is on one plane here and then uh, I'll make this on another plane or on the same plane but then this goes back not quite at a straight back angle there's uh, some angle over here so this is not all on the same plane these these bars go back here so anyway uh, I'm going to show how to make some handlebars in SketchUp so let's uh, pull that back the way I get started is uh, I like to start by using a rectangle and uh, I'll just make a little square there use my push-pull tool to um, pull it up a little bit and uh, ideally what I'm trying to do here is um let me see if I can scale this down a little bit so y'all can see oh we'll go down all right so anyway so ideally what I'm trying to do is get the bottom part here but then make it uh, up higher up there so anyway so that's kind of the idea behind it all right so I'm gonna push that together just a little bit there and uh, you do want to have that angle on there so in order to get the angle I can take this and uh, it's a good idea to take this and just move it out so and I didn't record what dimensions I made the box so you can record your dimensions I'm just gonna do it by uh, by eyesight all right, so I press the M key because I want to move it out. And I'll take this edge, I'm going to move it out just until I get kind of a good look. And it looks like, uh, let's do about 10 inches right there, I guess. So I'll type in one zero, enter. And then I'll come over here to this side and I'll do the same thing. So tapping the space bar allows me to select M to move and then click and drag. And then again, even if I go all the way out here, I'll click 10, enter and it still gives me the 10 inches that I need for there. So it looks like I got it pretty set there. That's a pretty decent angle. I'm not trying to get it perfect, but this angle right here is the angle that I want to get for right here. So that's what I'm trying to match on both sides, this angle here and that angle there. All right, so that looks good, but then um, this goes straight back, but I don't want it to go straight back. I actually need it to, um, to come out a bit. So this is how this is going to happen. Is uh, Maybe I should make my lines first just so you can kind of get an idea. But anyway, um, the curve will come up here. The curve will come out here. But then we also want the curve to come out here. But I don't want it on this side. So the trick then is I'm going to use my line tool. And I'm going to make a line here. And I'll pull it out. Um, I don't know, I made my box, uh, what is that, a f one foot six, so that's uh, 18 inches. So one eight, enter, and then I'll do the other side, and you have to press escape to stop creating. Same thing here, click, drag, let's see if it'll snap to 18. No, it's not, so I'll go 18, enter. All right, and then escape. Stop, escape, there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do to, to get that edge that I need for there, um, there's a couple things. Before I do that, um, <clears throat> I probably need to measure my angles here. Now, I've got this nice angle there, so uh, I'm going to click, and I kind of want it right about there. What is that? Uh, about 8 inches. So I'll click, and then 8, enter. I'm going, I, like a, I, like, I like a nice even curve, so I'll click here see if it snaps to 8, come over here, snaps to 8, and then up here, snaps to 8. And then also I'd like to bring this down 8 as well. Click, 8, and then I'll do the same thing here. Click, and you can see it's snapping 8. All right, good. The reason I'm doing that is because uh, now what I'll do is I'll take this, and I want to draw an endpoint where 8 inches is down there because I need my curve to come out this way. So I need the line. So what's going to happen is I'm going to draw a face here, um, a surface, and uh, that surface is going to be the one that goes back there. So I kind of have to draw it in an angle. So anyway, I'll draw from here, all the way back here, click, and then from there to there, 
see how that draws so I can make that line back there. So same thing here. I'm just going to click and drag. Ooh, that wasn't good. I'll delete that in a moment. And then click and drag. Alright, so anyway, now you can see I've got that face and that face. And that's kind of what it looks like from these angles. I'll come around here. And I'm not really concerned about any of this other stuff here because I'm going to delete that in just a moment. But I needed to get that angle going back. All right. So now I will take my um, arc tool and I'm going to go find these angles. Click. And there it is. Click. And then you can see click. So, and then I'll just come over here, make a couple quick ones. Oops. All right. There. Same thing here. Now, see, it's going to come up. And notice with this, I only have the two curves, one here and then another one here. So I would need to now make, so it's going, going to come up. And then the next curve is going to be, oh, I didn't do, uh, I didn't do eight inches out here. So let's uh, tap the space bar L for my line tool. I need eight inches down here. So follow the line and uh, there it is, eight. And then I also need to do it here on this side. Click, follow the line, eight. Love those inferences where they snap like that. All right, back to the arc tool. And then I will click here, and then I'm going to go find that eight inch inference. Click and click there. Hopefully you can see how this is starting to form. I will click here and click and see if I can, might have to move. Oop, click. All right, and sometimes it's a good idea to zoom in and check and make sure that you don't have any overlap there. That looks good, and uh, that looks good up there. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now I'm just going to blow everything away. So pressing E for my eraser tool, and so I can just uh, I'm just starting to erase stuff that I don't need. Look at all this stuff I don't need anymore. Boom. Same thing here. <coughs> All this stuff I don't need. I don't need any of that. Don't need that. Uh, I'm keep that. All right, so there's my shape, right? Nice looking shape. So I got it on a couple different planes there, and uh, it's nice. Um, looks good. All right, so now let's come this side of it, and I just want to line it up. I don't want to get it perfect there. I need to be able to see the little dot there come back here, go to my circle tool, click on the center, click and drag, and I'd like about an inch, uh, you know, well in this case I made a really large one, so how about two inches, just, eh, what about, inch and a half. Uh, click, 1.5, enter. All right, very good. Now we're going to uh, tap my space bar, need to select the whole line. <coughs> And then we will go to Tools, Follow Me, and then click the shape that you would like to follow that line. Click, and now I got my cool set of handlebars. And I probably, if I was going to make them exactly like this, I did not put them out far enough, but I'd say I got pretty close. And the idea was that we wanted to learn how to make this on several different planes. One plane, another plane, uh, there. So anyway, that's how you make handlebars in SketchUp. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.